So this is an exciting video, I think, today because it is a viewer request. I had one of my Canadian viewers reach out and say, you know, in, left it in a comment, and would you mind doing a Marcel video? So if you're not familiar with Marcel, Marcel is a Canadian brand. I have done previous videos where I, I showcased all three of the Canadian brands and they are all under the same umbrella. So like I'm, I'm going to say the umbrella of company. Uh, so there's Lee Swatche. If you've been with my channel any length of time, you know that Lee Swatche is a, one of my favorite brands from, uh, well, they do sell it at the drugstore. So I will say the drugstore is just a higher end uh, product. Uh, so there's Lee Swatche. There's, so that's the high end. Then there's Marcel, which is kind of like mid-level price. And then there's Annabelle, which is your budget cosmetics. So all three of those I have shown on my channel uh, in previous videos. Um, I did one a long time ago. I'll put one here. I had all three uh, brands in the in the video. I've also done a like an entire just lease watch a video. And I just, I love what they represent as a company. They are uh, cruelty free. They have 50 products that are CDA certified, which makes them one of the most certified brands in the country. And CDA is a Certified Dermatology Association. I like that they don't use fragrances in their products. They don't use allergens. They are very friendly for people that may have a sensitive skin, uh, hyper, they're hypoallergenic products. So, so I thought it would just be really super fun to create a whole video about Marcel. I did go and purchase a few of the products, uh, but some of them I did already have in my stash. I've used their, their products for several, several years. I love their skincare products. I've recently started using the retinol and probiotic night serum. This is such a fabulous product. So I need to go out and get the bigger size. This, I just tried the little size because I was a little bit scared about, you know, uh, retinols and all that sort of stuff. But when I found out how, how nice it is on my skin, I'm gonna go purchase the bigger size. And then I've used, for several years, I have I used their uh, day creams, their night creams, their eye creams. They're just a wonderful brand. So let's get started first with the makeup products. I have a little bit of a combination that I do uh, between their BB cream and a foundation. So one of my favorite products from them is the BB cream. I have this in the luminous version. They have a whole bunch of different versions. There's like a golden glow. There's like a natural one. They're all really, really beautiful on the skin. So it's like a, a quite a thick formula and I put this on my skin first. You'll notice I'm a little bit red here is because I put that buxom a plump shot on my lips and it just always makes them like so like it's it's plumping them. It's giving them that little bit of plumpiness. So the nice thing about the BB cream is you can go ahead and apply it with your fingers if you want. I prefer to just use it with a sponge. A few years back when we went to Hawaii, this is all I used on my skin. I didn't take any foundation or anything with me. I just used the uh, BB cream and it gave me a, like a really healthy glow to my skin. So after I've applied the BB cream, you can see that it just has given me nice coverage. It's not giving me any sort of insane full coverage. It's, it's covering all my imperfections and everything. It's just giving me like a nice little bit of a skin tint. They do have that by the way as well. They do have like a skin tint with, I think it's like SPF 30 in it. And I would feel good about just leaving you know, going out the door like this, cause it's just, it's just evened out my skin tone. Uh, but what I've been combining is I go in then with the Marcel Flawless uh, Luminous Foundation. And I believe that they have like a couple of different versions of the foundation as well. I just prefer, you know, like the luminous type because I like that luminosity to my skin. Always make sure to give it a good shake. I have this in the shade. Just let me get my glasses. This is Buff Beige. So you can see it's been well used. <laughs> It is one of those great foundations that I just use behind the scenes. I don't have it on my channel a lot. That's about one pump. And you can see it's not like a, a runny foundation at all. And I forgot to mention that they also do have like a CC cream, which would give you a little bit more coverage than the BB cream. I, this one, I'm, the foundation I put a little bit more just where I, I need it. I, I don't usually put it all over the face after I have the BB cream on. I'm just putting it like in those areas that may, may be like a little bit sparse, kind of on my chin here where I want a little bit more coverage. This doesn't uh, sink into my fine lines, which I really like. I'm gonna say the price is not too bad for what you're getting. Like this is, I think about $20 Canadian. So I know that some prices on some of even just like the regular mainstream kind of cosmetics uh, brands that they're even more than that. So I like that Marcel's keeping it affordable. This does have uh, like hyaluronic acid in it 
and pro-vitamin B5. And it has some vitamin C in there, some caffeine. So it's just going to give like that brightening appearance to your skin. This is what it looks like uh, all blended in. Hopefully you can see how, just how luminous my skin looks. I really, really enjoy those, those two products together. Now you can certainly leave it like this. Like I am going to leave it like this. I, I like that luminosity to it. Uh, they do have a, they have uh, actually a pressed powder and also a loose setting powder. I don't have that one in the room with me right now, but I do have like the loose powder. Uh, this was, is the, uh, the flawless uh, skin fusion pressed powder. So you can certainly use this if you want and just kind of give yourself a little, you know, setting powder. That's what it looks like. It's actually very, very velvety on the skin. Like it feels really good. So that's it. And this is the luminous one. But like I said, I'm going to just leave my skin as is. We're going to go in and do my brows now. So one of the pencils that they have is the Forever Sharp. This is a waterproof uh, eyebrow liner. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this particular pencil that they have is there's no like spoolie on the end. Uh, what you do is you twist off the top. So it's a, it's a self sharpening. So every time you put the product back in to the, the lid, it will sharpen it. And then when you take it out, it's, it's all ready to go. Uh, I have this one in the shade uh, medium brown. So what I uh, improvise with is I just take one of my other pencils that have a spoolie on the end and I just use that and quickly go through. This is a, quite a pigmented uh, eyebrow pencil. I don't need a lot of effort to put uh, color onto into the hairs there. You see how like how easily it just <laughs> it's very uh, deposits uh, de it deposits the shade really well. So this next product I did have to purchase and it's the concealer for Marcel. There was three different types and I usually gravitate more towards like a, a liquid type of concealer, but this one actually intrigued me. It's the, it's called the CC concealer and corrector. So it's more of like a, a stick type formula. Now I don't usually use stick formulas. I've, the ones that I've used in the past, uh, I find can be a little bit drying under my eyes. I did pick up the shade light to medium. What it says on the back of the packaging is instant, instantly conceals dark circles, under eye puffiness, age spots, redness, fine lines, discoloration, signs of fatigue, and uneven skin tone. That's the conceal part. And then corrector says corrects and helps prevent the appearance of dark spots. So it's a two in one. So that's it right there. And it just says to apply it to the dark spot and then rub it in with your finger. So I'm just gonna put that much. Now it looked like it concealed a little bit, but not like not a, a lot. I'm gonna put some more on this side, but this side I'm gonna use the brush. I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques concealer brush. Okay, so that looks like it's a little bit better using the concealer brush. Okay, so this side is with the brush and this was just with my fingertip. So I think the one with the brush looks like it has a little bit more like coverage than the one with my fingertip, but it's not looking like cakey under the eye. There's a little bit of luminosity to it. I'm wondering if it'll work on my, my hyperpigmentation. Let's, let's put a little bit on that. Now this one I will just blend in with my finger. It's very soft, like it, it's very pliable and, and melts into the skin. Like how easily that went melted in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more on that other side where I blend it in with my finger. I'll use the brush on that side. So through the rest of the tutorial, I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see if it does any creasing or budging at all. I'm going to say it's done. A, it's done an okay job. It's not like one of my my liquid concealers that really takes away the darkness, but it, it's doing a, a an okay job. <laughs> Now, while I was in the store, I got really super excited because this is the first time I've ever seen this, but it is a Marcel long wear eyeshadow pencil. Something that Marcel does is in the summertime, so like late spring, early summer, in the stores, they have special edition products come out. So, and they're usually uh, like sun based. So they have, they have like sunless, like towelettes where you can put like apply self tanner with using a towelette. They have a special edition bronzer that only comes out in the summertime. Uh, there was a couple of other products there, but on the stand, 
was this eyeshadow pencil and I thought oh that is so cool so on the web so in the store they only have this shade which is a galactic copper oh that sounds exciting and it is a 24 hour hold waterproof smudge proof non-sticky smooth glide and it's retractable but on the website they have I believe there's like five shades but what I'm going to do is use this as an eyeshadow base because you know I'm all about the one and done type of eyeshadows I love just slapping stuff on my eyelids and then that you know calling it a day kind of thing okay so now that I'm finished fighting getting the packaging off oh my goodness they they had that in there pretty good so that's what it looks like that is pretty and what I discovered as I was taking the packaging off is on the end there's like a little a little sharpener here so you can sharpen it but let's get started with this one. Okay, so I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is just put it all over the eyelid and then I'm gonna go in with some regular eyeshadow. And all it says is put it on and then blend it in with your finger. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is just gorgeous. That would be just beautiful for running out the door, right? Like throwing that on and then running out the door or if you take it for a vacation instead of taking like powders that the possibility of them breaking is pretty high right like when you have your eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that but this is great this you can just throw in your bag I love this and there's like you can't really make a mistake that's why like you just look at it you just slap it on and then blend it in with your finger oh that is such a pretty shade and I will say this really isn't a bad price it's about 15 16 dollars Canadian uh, glides on really easy easy like kind of like what I said there's no mess to it it does say it, it should last like 24 hours so that's a pretty decent amount of time it does say that it's like a transfer proof but what I like about it it's very creamy now one of the Marcel products that I love love loved I've used their uh, pr this particular product for years and years and it's their eyeshadows their powdered eyeshadows so I recently picked up this new little well it's not exactly a quad but there's one two three four five shades in there it is in the style spiced cider they usually come with like one of those little applicators on there you know I like my neutral so that's just a little neutral color story so I think with I because I already have that other that shadow stick on there I'm just I because I wanted to just play with it <laughs> I wanted to display with the eyeshadows so let's just go in with a couple of shades just to see what they look like we'll go in first with this beigey shade right here they don't really have they have numbers but they don't have like shade colors I'm going in with my BK Beauty 211 brush and what I want to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the top here it's supposed to like intensify the the colors with that uh, with that that shade on there that color shadow stick and then I'm going to deepen up the corner the only thing I can see with this particular pen is it does have a little bit of kick kick up so you can kind of see right in the corner there but I'm going to go in with this really dark shade right here and that one I'm going to put right on the corner oh this one looks like really dark now off camera I just used my L'Oreal uh, pencil my brown pencil and just kind of tight lined on my upper waterline I have a like a blue Marcel pencil but I didn't think the brown and the blue would kind of jive together but I'll show you what the shade looks like anyhow it's it's really really pretty I use this in my waterline isn't that just it's like a gorgeous aquamarine color oh it's just so beautiful it's actually the shade uh, blue lagoon but the, it looks so pretty but you just have to have the right color combination going on with your eyes before you use this one so what I did today was I picked up the Marcel this is a cool eyeliner this is just an eye brightening beige what fascinates me about this brand is even on like even on the pencil here it's recognized by the Canadian Dermatology Association <laughs> their pencil like what who like seriously their pencil does here let me swatch it probably not gonna really show up I don't know if you can right there kind of see it it's sure sort of there it's a beige but I'm gonna use this one for my inner waterline today and it actually says on here that it is safe to use in your uh, waterline so those little details that they that they do you guys know I always like using like a a beige shade just in my inner rim it just brightens things up and then I picked up I didn't have any new mascaras from uh, Marcel I had an old least watchy one but I didn't want to use it just because it is older 
Uh, so I just wanted to buy this brand new, spanking new mascara. So I picked up, and this is going without like looking at any reviews or anything. I was just kind of standing there looking at the different types that they have. So this is called the Extension Plus. So it's a lengthening and curling. But what I really appreciated about it is it came with this free little um, eye makeup remover. That was totally free. It's just like a little 50 mil size. So I thought that was, that's pretty nice of them to do that. That'd be great for like a travel size. So what I'm gonna do first is curl my lashes with my Refer Eyelash Curler. I didn't know if you guys had a chance to check out the sale that Refer was having, but this eyelash curler is the best. So this mascara is one of those, it has like two sides of the bristle or like the brush head. So one is for lengthening. So the longer side that is, should be right here, that is for lengthening and then the shorter side is for volume. So let's go in with, so it's hard to see which side is which. Okay, this side, this says that it's supposed to be like non-clumping, non-flaking, and with my short stubby lashes, believe me, I need all the help I can get. Okay, so that, this side is just the one coat. So not bad, not bad. So this is both sides. Now I've put uh, like a few layers of mascara on. I think it's doing a, like a decent job. It's nothing, like it's not giving me totally insane lashes, but it is giving me pretty decent length. So far, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So we're gonna go in with a bronzer today. Now this is their limited edition bronzer, only comes out, like I mentioned earlier, in the summertime. Uh, when I was in the store today, they have, so they always keep with, it's a similar, uh, like a motif and everything on the actual packaging. Uh, but today, this is the first time I've seen this, the packaging is black. So instead of it having this nice brown kind of color, it's actually black. Uh, but this, the, I'm assuming, because there was no like a tester to see what it looked like inside. I'm assuming it looks like something similar to this. So this is my very well used <laughs> Marcel bronzer. And what I was doing, because I was going through these so much, this is pretty much the only bronzer for several years that I was only using. And I was hitting pan, like hitting pan, hitting pan. So every summer I would grab one and that would let, get me through to the next summertime. But because I've been testing out so many different products lately, I haven't had to buy one of these for a while for, the, I'm going to say probably the last two years, I haven't had to buy a new one of these. So we're going to go in with it. All I do basically is swirl around the whole thing. Like I just take all of it in. I don't segregate it into like different, the different uh, shades, but look at that. Isn't that insane? Look at the, oh my goodness. It is so crazy pigmented. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. So then all you do, if you get too much bronzer is just, use your sponge. <laughs> it's incredible. This one totally has my heart. And what's nice about it is there's a little bit, can you see it? There's a little bit of a luminosity in it that I don't usually use a highlighter. I don't hardly ever have to use a highlighter when I use this bronzer. Okay, so now that we're all kind of glowed up now with all the, <laughs> with the bronzer. Sorry, this is falling out on me. We're gonna go in with blush. So Marcel has a really, really beautiful cream blush. So it's just this little tiny little packaging. This particular one I have in the shade Sparkling Coral. Look at that, it's so pretty. And this one doesn't, it's one of those ones that like it doesn't fade throughout the day. It really does stay true. So what I wanna do with this one though is because I have the powder on underneath, I really wanna just kind of pack it, the pack the cream on. So I'm just gonna go in with my BK Beauty 106 brush. This is a foundation brush, but I'm just gonna use it as uh, like applying my blush. So I just kind of do this and I take a little bit on the, and then I just kind of dab it on. Oh, that's really pretty. Such a great formula. I think that's such a lovely shade uh, for the summertime, especially just that nice little kind of coral shade. Now, if you can see, it, I look quite luminous on my cheeks where I would normally put highlighter. So that's why with that, that bronzer, I, I, I kind of skipped that step. But if you're somebody that really wants to put some highlighter on, what I suggest doing is if you have like one of these palettes, there is a shade in here that's actually quite shimmery. Here, I'll show you. So this shade right here, you could use this as a highlighter. It has a really nice shimmer to it. It would be more like of a, like a goldy kind of uh, highlighter if you wanted to. But even with that little bit on my finger, I mean, I could go like this and just gently pat it on. Trying to look for something to use and you don't have anything on hand, use one of these products that you can multitask. 
I'll even put it down like the bridge of my nose. Just a little tip. So for the lips today, I didn't pick up any sort of Marcel lip liner. I wanted instead to go with the Annabelle lip liner and this was because it was recommended by one of my viewers. Uh, she said that she has used the Annabelle lip liner in the shade Nude and really really likes it. So I thought well why don't I go in with the Annabelle one because it is in the, like I said to you earlier in the video if you've watched that part it, it is in the same umbrella family of you know brand of companies and Annabelle is like super super affordable. So it says that it is waterproof and again it's hyperallergenic because it's uh, uh, Annabelle. So that's the shade right there. Just a nice nude shade. It is like it's not like a retractable one but it's just one that you sharpen. It is very soft. That's a really pretty shade. Mm, very nice. It just glides on really well. So I didn't pick up any Marcel lipstick. They do have, I'll put a picture of it over here. There was like a, a like a, I'm not sure if it's like a lip balm type of product. I, I usually fill in my lip anyhow with the lip liner. So I'm just gonna go in with a gloss by Marcel. And this is the Marcel Lux Gloss. And I have this one in the shade Angel. I've been doing this a lot lately, just filling in my lips with lip liner and then just using a gloss. Yeah, that just makes it like a really pretty color because there's a little bit of sheen with the with the color. You can see it's like a, a pink. And there are several like several shades of this. I really like that. And it's not like a like a sticky gloss. Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what it looks like right after I finish filming and then I'm just standing by some natural light here. I've kind of got, gotten into the habit of doing that now with you guys. I think it just gives you a better view of what everything looks like, uh, especially right after I filmed, which I have, I just finished filming. And it gives you a, d a different idea rather than just like the studio lights, uh, you know, that I gives that, I think that gives like a bit of a distorted look of what everything looks like. But so far, really, really liking how everything turned out. The uh, like I said to you before, the lip combination, the eyes, the eye, that eyeshadow stick. That's my new favorite makeup product. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like in some natural light. I think it looks really pretty. Uh, I love the, those that, like I said to you at the, in the video, I love the combination of that BB cream and the foundation. I think it just looks really well together. So this is the look in natural light. I'm so pleased with how everything turned out. This lip combo with the lip liner and then the lip gloss. I am loving this combo. This is a great shade. I love how easy it glided glided on. And this is, yeah, great find. Thank you for recommending this. And then just, you know, like a couple of other things that just really stand out for me. And the things I'll update you on the description box about is the concealer. I'm still gathering my thoughts on it. So far, it's, it's doing a good job. I haven't had to like do any of that, putting my fingers underneath where my, my little lines are there. Like it hasn't been doing a lot of creasing. It hasn't given me like the little shark fins in the corners there. Uh, other than the coverage isn't like 100% that I want. But other than that, you know, it is it is doing a nice job. It's very it was very creamy going on under my eyes. The only thing, like I said to you, recommending uh, using like a brush is a little bit harder to blend into my eyes using my fingers for whatever reason. Uh, so the brush actually worked better in that regard. And then the I you know what the standout of like of all these products that I tried today, the standout, this eyeshadow stick. Oh my goodness, I love it. Like this is this is my new one and done. This is my throw it on. I love the shade. Like the shade is just a fantastic, great, great, great shade for summertime. And the website, I think the website had like five shades, but in the store, I, I, at least where I shopped, I could only see like this shade, but on the website, if you shop on that, then there was uh, more like multiple shades on there, but I love this. This is fantastic. So this was, uh, this was like my, my biggest find of the whole tutorial was this little <laughs> eyeshadow pencil and you know it was pretty I think I think I mentioned it was like $15 or whatever so pretty reasonable when you think of like the Laura Mercier ones are like obscene amounts and like the uh, Bobby Brown ones again obscene amounts so I I'm curious to see how this is going to do I, I, I will leave that as well if there was any creasing so there's three things I'm going to update <laughs> as I'm thinking about everything now okay three things I'll update you on about in the description box at the end of the night I'll update you on the concealer to see how how well it wore throughout the rest of the night. I will update you on the mascara because the mascara, you know what? As I'm looking, as I went and you know quickly did my hair, and I was looking at it in the mirror, 
I really liked that there was, it didn't clump. Like I kept kind of building the, the product onto my uh, lashes. Didn't do any clumping. So far there's no like flaking or anything like that. So we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll see how long it lasts for the rest of the day here. And then I'll let you know if this shadow stick, if it does any sort of creasing or anything like that. But it says it's like a 24 hour wear. So that, I mean, that's pretty decent. So everything will be linked and listed down below in my description box of all the products that we use today. And if you ever do use any of my affiliate links, I thank you so much for helping to support my channel. I do get a, a tiny, I'm gonna say, tiny, tiny bit of a commission whenever you guys use those links. So thank you very much for helping to support my channel. If you've stuck around this long, I really hope you consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this sort of content, make sure to hit that notification bell right beside the subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I upload new videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.